this is Sharon Lamb. I blog at SharonItWithYou.blogspot.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today we're going to do one of my favorite cards. It's a waterfall card. And I use the Rustic Retreat stamp set. There's four images as you pull this. You'll get four images and a lovely quote from A.A. A. Milne, a Winnie the Pooh author. And then you push back. And it can be mailed. And you can write a sentiment on the inside. I use the Rustic Retreat stamp set. It's retiring soon. And it is a million dollar achiever. One of our demonstrators achieved a million dollars. And they get to design their own stamp set. This one was by Mary Polchin. So let's get started. You need a base card that is four and a quarter by 11, scored by five and a half. And you can see the score line here. And I just learned that if you score, you want to fold down. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder, get that nice and crisp, set that aside. Then the next piece we want is a basic white, which is one and seven eighths by nine and three quarters and it's scored starting at two inches and every three quarter inch after that. So two and three quarters, three and a half and four and a quarter. And what you wanna do is you wanna start at the top fold and fold down. I'm gonna crease that and fold down on all of them. Um, and folding talk. That is the mountain fold because it looks like a mountain when you're done as opposed to a valley the other way. So once you have all four of them, your piece of paper should look like this. I'm going to set that aside also. Then we're going to take four pieces of the white, basic white, that is uh, two and one eighth. And then four pieces of old olive that is two and a quarter and before we mount the whites onto the old olive I'm going to stamp them I'm going to use some early espresso and I'll start with the thinking of you I'm going to center that here on the first one because that's the first one you're going to see and then the second one I decided to use the bear I'm going to kind of put it toward the top on this one. And then the third one, the deer. And that one can fit totally on the square. And then the last one is the sentiment of I appreciate you. I'll put that in the center also. There you go. Then I'm going to break out my stamp and seal. I put the little T on top to remind me where the top goes. Sometimes I forget. I'm going to put a little adhesive here, center it onto the old olives on each one of those. All right, so you have all four of your panels ready to go. On this one, before we assemble that, I'm going to use the scallop tag punch and punch the end of it. This one's also retiring too. And then you're going to put adhesive on each one of these um, sides and you're going to center each one of these. So you're going to want to center it on here. Press down and then you want to fold to the next one and put adhesive on there. And make it centered again. Basically you're lining up for the previous um, panel because you want these to be equal. Fold that up. Third adhesive. Same lining up, leaving a little bit at the top. And the last one. And then before we put it on the card, I'm going to want to stamp that lovely quote. I love that one. It says, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. I'm going to put that right there. 
So it'll be a surprise when they pull the tag. Then what you're going to need is a strip that measures one by four and a quarter. And you want to adhere it to the back of this side right here. So I'm going to put some adhesive here. And what you want to do is place it here, but you want to center it. So be careful before you press down to make sure it's centered and lining up to the bottom there. Okay. Then you only want to put adhesive on the edges here because you want this part to be able to move freely. So you only want the adhesive here. So we're going to put some adhesive here on the edges only. Perfect for this uh, stamp and seal, or you could use some uh, tear and tape. That would be good too. And what you want to do is be able to center because the strip is exactly the size of the card. And so you're going to line up the top here, make sure it's centered here and here. And then you're going to press down when you're satisfied. And hmm, I think this looks good. Press down here. Then I'm going to get a five inch piece of the matching ribbon and I'm going to tie it onto the tag here to give something for the recipient to kind of pull on to reveal your secret message. And all I did was double knot it here. And there you go. Thinking of you. I appreciate you and then the lovely quote. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to put my lid back on and my stamp and seal. Thank you for letting me share this with you. Please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like me and find me on Facebook at sharing it with you. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.